children. If you want a story about a pirate, say, Aha! Aha! Good. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. He found a desert island and he dug up some buried treasure. The end. <gasps> what an adventure! That story makes me miss the sea. I must set sail at once and find that desert island. Captain Dog loves the sea. It's just a story, Daddy. You don't need to set sail. Oh, yes. No need for me to set sail ever again. I like the children's festival. Yes, and not a drop of rain. We've been really lucky this year. Oh, oh. I told you it wouldn't be muddy. A little bit of mud would be nice. This way to the making things tent. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, we're going to learn how to make something from the olden days. Who wants to make a basket? Hmm. Okie dokie. How about knitting an olden days hat? How about a dragon? Me! Me! All the children are making dragons. <laughs> wow, those dragons are good. Almost like the real thing. Dragons are not real. They are mythical creatures. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Actually, the correct term is child prodigy. <laughs> Making things was fun. And we've still got lots to see and do tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are we staying here tonight? We certainly are. Yes, I was hoping we could find a hotel nearby, but... I thought camping would be more fun. Yay! Camping! Great. <laughs> You have to be very, very careful with China. Why? Because China can break very easily. <laughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not gonna work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> Mr. Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. Here we are! Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A bull in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Peppa. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> That's the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new! Peppa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. 
We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> Actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Bye bye, little ones. Bye bye, Granny. Bye bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr. Wolf. Taxi. Hop in. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss. Hello, Hello boss. boss. Hello, lads. Here's the sand. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty-ho. There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. <coughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. No, oh, uh, you oh, stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK, Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, 
あーあー Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything okay? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho, ho! I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana? With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? I saw. <laughs> George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <laughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <laughs> That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the aquarium cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho! It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lapin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. Thank goodness you're 
are here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lapin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! They're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best, the Queen. Ooh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. I can't visit the Queen. I've got too much work to do. Relax. No one will be working that day. The Queen has made it a holiday. Hooray! It is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see the Queen. We're off to see the Queen. E-I-N-T-O. We're off to see the Queen. <laughs> Here we are. This is the Queen's palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops! What a big house! Lots of room for a queen to kick a ball about. Where is the queen? Queen! Queen! Where are you? Hello! Have you seen the queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs. Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Don't worry. We won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. 
Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow! So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mole said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to? Uh... See you on the other side. Wow! Isn't the craziest fun in the world? I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant. Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh -huh. Yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. <sighs> Daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the ride of doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the ride of doom forever. Thank you very much. Pedro has found a clown outfit. Makeup. Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But, Peppa, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible. The amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> Look at George, Richard and Edmund on tricycles! <laughs> Don't stop clapping, it's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Magic shower! <laughs> Hello? Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. 
Ooh. Night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. <laughs> this is the sand digger ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun. Yes. <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! Okay, Pepper. <laughs> Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. Oh. Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! <laughs> you naughty piggy. <laughs> Oh, building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Uh oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Brr. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Hooray! <laughs> We've got the dinosaur. <laughs> oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh. Look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please. Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. 
There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> Daddy, I tricked you. It's me. <gasps> Peppa, what a surprise. But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly Mummy, it's us! Cheese! Cheese! Yum, yum! George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow! That's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK, I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie? Yummy! There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower <laughs> tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. <laughs> apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples? Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. <laughs> cheese? I've got all kinds of cheese here. <laughs> they don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of Plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow. Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Oh. Um. Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. 
I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no. The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! It's okay. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello? Miss Rabbit's rescue service? Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a minute. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be Queen? OK. I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> Help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! There. Ah! Ah! Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you. Come in, come in. Whoa. Whoa. Your hallway is a big flight, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. Oh, where's this tree, then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was 
was a little animal. Special delivery. Ah, this could be... Yes, it's the rare stamp I sent off for. It's a big box for just a step. Did it cost a lot of money? Shh, Granny Pig doesn't need to know. Right you are. There should be a stamp in this drawer. No stamps, Granny. We'll just have to carry on looking downstairs. What a beautiful stamp. And in perfect condition. Never been used. What's going on here? Oh, um, uh... What's all this mess? Oh, now I'll take it to the recycling. Look, Granny, a stamp for our postcard. Ah, good. I knew we'd find a stamp somewhere. George, would you like to lick it? <laughs> Stick it on the postcard. <laughs> now it's time to post your postcard. <laughs> Send it off, George. <laughs> Mr Zebra has come to collect the post. Um, did anyone see a stamp on the kitchen table? Yes, Grandpa. We stuck it on our postcard. Ah! My stamp! Stop! Stop! Come back, my stamp! <laughs> oh, my goodness! That stamp wasn't meant to be used. Why not, Grandpa? Well, it was a, a special stamp that I bought for my collection. Oh, so how much did it cost? Uh, not much. Ah, that's all right then. <coughs> and anyway, it's not lost. The postcard is going to Pepper and George's house. Oh, yes! I'll go straight there and wait for it to arrive. Uh, 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 my stamp! My stamp! <laughs> Grandpa Pig has arrived at Pepper and George's house. Oh, Grandpa Pig. I haven't missed the post, have I? <laughs> Special delivery. Oh, my lovely stamp. Actually, this is for Pepper and George. <laughs> A postcard! Yippee! Ah, one little snail. Two little snails. <laughs> and a slug. Eh, slugs are yucky. <laughs> Here are Grandpa Pig's chickens. Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like, oh, Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, Good night. night! Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello! Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They like the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. I'm just going for one last walk. Whoa! 
Going for one last swim, Mr. Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Peppa. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes, I miss my friends and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <coughs> um, she's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Peppa. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Pepper has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes. I have never felt so relaxed. Ah. Hello, officer. Whatever I was doing... I won't do it again. <laughs> Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take a better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... <laughs> yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Going. Police officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling police officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK! <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> To do this, I am the teacher, and I wasn't Off supposed you to go. talk. Ooh. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh yes, ring bell. Brakes. Oh yes, brakes. Well done, and that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank you police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you. You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. Very good. But of course there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh yes, we're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh, the police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh, who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. <laughs> Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw!
So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next-door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Hello, we're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, 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 bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha <laughs> ha, right you are. Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the ties than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. What you do when you see a full moon? Um, you howl. Ahoo! Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? Okay. First, you have to look up at the moon, and then you howl. Ahoo! Ahoo! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Wow! Who did that 
one. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Oh. It's a wild animal. Ah. Oh. It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny Wolf. Wolf. My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> All the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat. <laughs> Birthday cake. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah. Oh. Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> And remember, always look where you're going. Then... Oh. Dr Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Oh. Have a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. We must have washed these clothes a thousand times. Georgie's clothes have got holes in them. When you wash clothes a thousand times, they get holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your bottom, George. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time we got George some new clothes. Mummy Pig is taking Pepper and George to the clothes shop. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How can I help you? We need some new clothes for George, please. <coughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <coughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <coughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. 
How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. Hmm, <laughs> I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm, too much colour. What about this then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. Wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. <coughs> it is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <coughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. 